Guys, what's happening? Thursday afternoon here. Still finishing some things up around here, but good news. We got some good inspection stuff done today. We've got a couple things working on first thing tomorrow morning. So we are literally 99% of the way there. Um, with that in mind, I am very optimistic that Monday, Tuesday at the latest, we should be open up for shop. Um, but definitely stay tuned to Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. And uh, because once we know, you guys will know. Um, I guarantee it. Once I find out, I might celebrate shotgun a beer or down a shot or something like that first. But after that, you guys will know. It might take just 10 seconds after. So stay tuned to those. Um, on the second part of this video, if you guys know how we are at Castleton, we've got a ton of different bars. We love to educate our people about them. We love to support all different kinds of athletes. So I've got Michaela Griffin, who's going to be one of our team members here at Kempsville. She's going to go over all the different bars. So check it out. Listen in. Get educated. We don't want you guys curling with the wrong bar. Um, check it out. So the first bar that we have is our Rogue 2.0 multi-purpose bar. As in the name, it is a multi-purpose bar, so you can use it for squat, bench, deadlift. It also is 45 pounds. Um, as far as the knurling is concerned, um, how you can identify um, this bar is there is no metal um, knurling. The next bar that we have is our uh, Bella Women's Training Bar. Same thing in the name, it is a women's training bar. So the women who are out there who have either very small hands or just uncomfortable um, using a 45 pound bar, um, this bar is for you. So you can still be able to get your barbell work in. The next bar that we have is our Ohio Powerlifting or Power Bar. Um, this is mainly used, um, as you'll see, in powerlifting federations such as USAPL um, for your squat bench deadlift. It is also known as the Stiff Bar. Um, 45 pounds also. The next bar that we have is our deadlift bar. Um, same thing in the name, strictly used for deadlifts. It, this will be used in powerlifting federations such as USPA for deadlifts. Um, the biggest difference between your deadlift bar and your Ohio power bar is a few things. The deadlift bar is, as you can see, slightly longer than Ohio um, power, uh, power bar. Also, as far as the diameter is concerned, it is a smaller diameter, so the grip is a lot better. And it also allows about two, maybe one to two inches of whip um, so that you're starting farther off the ground. As with the stiff bar, um, it is stiff, so the weight's not moving unless you move the weight yourself. The next bar that we have is our Texas Squat Bar, um, four, uh, 55 pounds. Um, as you can tell, this is as far as all of our barbells are concerned. This is the longest barbell that we have um, out of the five that we have right here. Um, same thing in the name, this is strictly used for squatting. Um, same thing used in powerlifting federations such as USPA also. The next bar that we have is our Rogue Multi-Grip Bar and or our Football Bar. Um, this bar is used, you can push, pull, curl, do your tricep exercises with it. The main um, focus on this is giving you different grips and it also helps reduce stress on the wrist and the shoulders. Um, the next bar that we have is our Rogue Safety Bar Squat, squat Bar. This is 70 pounds. Um, this is a good variation for people who um, have a hard time with either um, shoulder mobility and the back squat or also in the front squat. So it's a good variation to get your front squats in if you, are, um, if you have poor shoulder mobility or anything of that nature. The next bar that we have is our Duffalo Bar. The Duffalo Bar is mainly used for bench press and squats. Um, in the bench press, it allows greater range of motion and also in the back squat, it reduces a lot of um, pain in the back or anything like that just because of the curvature of the bar. The next bar that we have is our trap bar, our rogue trap bar. So this bar is um, 60 pounds. Um, it is very great um, variation for beginners with um, deadlifts. So it also reduces a lot of strain on the lower back and also helps with setting up proper technique. Um, it is also used for variations of exercises such as farmer's walks and also your uh, traditional shrugs. The next bar that we have is the easy bar. Um, this is a mostly used for curls um, or in or tricep extensions or anything of that nature. The biggest thing with this bar is that it also has multi-grips, um, which reduces stress on the wrist. So um, as far as using a traditional barbell, which locks your wrist into one place, which could put a lot of stress and strain on the wrist, this gives you multiple grips. So um, you can have a better, uh, less chance of hurting your wrist or anything like that. And the last two bars that we have are axle bars. The smaller bar is 20 pounds and the bigger, um, the longer bar is 25 pounds. As you um, will see, these bars are mostly used in strongman 
competitions, but are a good variation to use for um, developing grip strength. And that's all we have for Wonderful. Boom! Mm. 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 Get off of me! Guys, another great tip here. So, obviously, at the end of most collars, you're always going to notate. If you are unsure of the bar, obviously ask. But as you guys can see, at the end of the bars, they are labeled. That is a Texas squat bar. Again, that's 55 pounds. That's going to be your deadlift bar. That is your traditional power bar. That is your Bella bar. And that's going to be your Rogue 2.0. We obviously like to cater to a ton of athletes, hence why we've got so many different bars. We appreciate you.